I'm Amy Hotz, local film ministry reporter for the Star News. We caught the crew of One Tree Hill filming down at Wrightsville Beach on Wednesday. It was a beautiful sunny day and uh, there were only two fans hanging out watching the filming. Um, but they got a pretty good eyeful. It was uh, Paul Johansson and Robert Buckley uh, dressed in suits and they got a little physical on the beach uh, by the water. I'm not going to give anything away other than that. Um, but uh, we did ask the fans what they thought about this year's uh, episodes and here's what they had to say. Hey, this is Amy Hotz. I'm here at the south end of Wrightsville Beach where One Tree Hill is uh, filming a scene right by the water near the jetty. And I'm here with uh, Lindsay and Crystal from Canada. They've been to Wilmington four times for One Tree Hill filming. Um, what have you guys seen so far? <laughs> okay, <laughs> you gotta ask her. We've seen filming at the river court two times, um, at the airport. Where else have we, have we caught filming at? Nathan and Haley's. Nathan and Haley's house. house. Down at some random school a couple days ago. That's cool. What have you guys seen here on the beach so far? Not a whole lot. Yeah. <laughs> Parasailers. <laughs> Nothing much. Now behind us, I think we saw uh, Robert Buckley. Is that right? He's yeah. he's back there doing a scene with Paul Johansson. Um, Buckley's kind of new on the show right now. What do you guys think about him uh, kind of stepping in after uh, Chad Michael Murray left? I am. Um, I'm happy about it actually. Um, I followed him on the show Lipstick Jungle, so it was good to know that. It was someone I already watched and liked, and not just some random person I had to get used to. Yeah. And uh, let me ask you guys each who your favorite couple is. Brooke and Julian. Brooke and Julian, and why? Because Lucas and Peyton are gone. Okay. <laughs> well, I think a lot of people feel the same way. <laughs> and who's your favorite couple? Also, Brooke and Julian. Brooke's always been my favorite character of the show, so I'm glad to finally see her happy for once. Thanks, Amy. Now let's talk about what happened in last night's episode. Well, it was a rough night on One Tree Hill as Mouth seemingly quit his job because he wouldn't report the Nathan Scott scandal. Nathan and Haley had to tell young Jamie about what was going on. And of course, we got to see Chase back as some comic relief as Trix inept bartender. But of course, the best scene of last night happened right at the end when the woman who is blackmailing Nathan baited Haley into punching her in the face. Now, we're going to see the ramifications of that in next week's episode. And I hear that Haley might spend some time in the slam. That should be interesting. But also in the previews for next week's episode, one of the things I'm excited about is that we get to see Nathan talking to his dad for the first time this season. It'll be interesting to see how all of that plays out. What did you think about what's going on on One Tree Hill? As always, you can talk to us at starnewsonline.com slash One Tree Hill. Also there, you can find photo galleries from filming both at Wrightsville Beach this week and scenes of Jamie with his... Um, with the scene of him and his friends in the park from last night's episode. We have footage from that shoot as well. That's all on our website at starnewsonline.com slash One Tree Hill. See you next week.